and welcome to day four of the Fincher Student Film Fest 2022. My name is Sam Bosen. I am the director of the Fincher Student Film Fest, and I'm also the creative director of Fincher's Films, and I am super excited to be kicking off day four of the festival. Thank you so much as well to everybody who's been voting for the Fincher's Fan Favorite Award. Uh, we're getting lots of votes in and we hope to get lots more in the next couple of days. Again, you can vote for your two favorite films out of the 25 films in our lineup. And um, if you need the link for that, it's on Vimeo.com. And um, if you need the link, just go to our page. We've talked about it in every single video, every single day, but that'll be at FinchersFilms.com underneath the Fincher Student Film Fest 2022 sub page. If you also want to see the standings uh, for voting, the current standings will be at the very bottom of our page on our website. Um, and you can see first, second, third place, as well as all current standings for Fincher's fan favorite voting. Um, again, you have until Friday at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time USA to cast your final vote for that award. Um, please, filmmakers, get your friends, family, and fans out there. Uh, watch all the films. Um, these filmmakers would really appreciate uh, all of your support by watching their films. I know that they've been working so hard uh, to bring their films to life and to bring them to the festival. So please check them all out if you can. Um, and again, we will be having our nominations video come out tomorrow evening as well. So please check out our schedule of events page on our website for that exact time for that video. Um, that video will be posted on our YouTube page. We're just at Ventress Films if you need to find us on there. It will also be posted on our website as well. Um, we're really excited to finally get to announce the nominees. Um, so we hope that you can join us for that video. And then again, Saturday, we will not only be announcing all of the award winners for the Ventress Student Film Fest 2022, but we will also be having our live in-person screening, um, which will be held in the United States. So we're really excited for that as well. Um, now, enough talk of business. Let me get to day four of the featured films of the day. So starting off strong, our first featured film of the day is As If Underwater, which is directed by M.B. Dautaki. Um, and this film follows a woman as she lives a very unique uh, life and she's kind of in isolation in her home and she lives in a very magical, mystical, fantastical world that is a bit um, different than the average person. This film is so well done. The cinematography is great. The writing and directing is phenomenal. And I have to say the acting in this film is top notch. So I hope you can check it out because this idea is super original and creative. I don't want to give too much away about the film. Um, unfortunately, I do not have an introduction video by the director, but if you're interested in watching As If Underwater, here is a quick snippet of the film. Okay, and our second featured film of the day is The Butler and the Ball, which is directed by Andrew Chan Passamato. Um, let me just say this film is so awesome. Um, it is directed, written, and performed by this nine-year-old kid who created this super original concept about this um, wealthy man who's looking for a new butler, and there's a competition to see uh, who his new butler gets to be. I don't wanna give too much away, but this film was so well done, super creative, like I said, and it is just unbelievable that it was written, directed, and performed by a nine-year-old. I am just so impressed by that. So if you're interested in watching the film, here is a quick introduction video from writer, director, and performer, Andrew Chan Passamato. Hi, I'm Andrew Chan Passamato. I'm a fifth grader coming to you from Brooklyn in the Big Apple. I'm the director and actor of The Butler and the Ball. The film is about a lonely boy named Ashton who goes to the mansion of famous singer, Bob Chan, where he enters a contest to be his new butler, a contest that ends up taking him to the other side of the globe. 
The message of the film is to be adventurous, follow your heart, and find connections with other people. You can find more information about me and the film at channelproductions.com. Thanks. All right, and our third featured film of the day is Flutterby, directed by Oliver Gordon. This film is a pretty dark film. Um, I just wanna give a disclaimer that it does deal with quite serious subject matters, so keep that in mind if you choose to watch it. That being said, it is so well done. Um, I think that not only the production of the film, the cinematography, writing, directing, but the acting of the film is also so incredible. Um, I really hope you can check it out because it is a very original concept with a unique take on a pretty dark subject. Um, again, don't want to give too much away about the film, but I hope you can check it out. Unfortunately, we don't have an introduction video from the director, but if you're interested in watching Flutterby, here's a quick snippet of the film. What's done is done, but does that mean we should live there? Of course not. Judging our past selves is one of the most harmful things we can do. Okay, our fourth featured film of the day for today is Father, Why Have You Forsaken Me? which is directed by Jack Cosgriff. Um, this film is a religion piece and it is about a boy who deals with the aftermath of his father's death and just deals with grieving um, his father. This film is a super unique art piece. I have to say it is just so creative and well done. I hope you can check it out. Um, and if you're interested in learning more about the film or if you'd like to watch it, here's an introduction video from the director, Jack. Hello, Fentress Film Festival. My name is Jack Cosgrove. I'm the writer, director of Father, Why Have You Forsaken Me? Father, Why Have You Forsaken Me? is a film about religion and a young teenage ice skater coming to terms with religion, death, and life after the death of his own father, who's an Episcopal priest. Um, it's a movie that I made as a therapy project after my own father died when I was 15. Um, and it's been a movie that's really helped me process a lot of my own grief um, and come to terms with who I am as a person. Um, and I'm very excited for the world to see it. Um, and I hope you really enjoy it. Okay, and our fifth and final featured film for today is No Ordinary Time, which is directed by Lotus Port Moyle, Hadley Pearson, and Mara Flynn. Um, this is a documentary um, that kind of touches on two subjects, not only the COVID-19 pandemic that we're currently still living in, but also the Spanish flu pandemic, um, which uh, they, those two subjects have a lot in common um, and there's a lot of crossover. So it's really unique how this documentary brings the two different pandemics together and talks about um, them individually as well. So I hope that you can check it out. It's really educational. It's a very fascinating documentary. Um, unfortunately, we don't have an introduction video, but if you're interested in learning more about the film or if you want to watch it, here is a quick snippet. The Spanish influenza pandemic of 1918 and 1919 was the largest pandemic to that point in time in the United States. Probably it's estimated about 25 to 30 percent of the population got infected minimally, probably more, and about 675,000 people died in the United States. All right, so that wraps up day four of the featured films of the day for the Fentress Student Film Fest 2022. Um, please join me again tomorrow for day five, which is our final day of the featured films of the day, where I'm gonna be talking about First Love, Do Not Develop, Sea of Irrelevance, Y Titule Que Borre, and How Power Looks. Um, again, please keep voting for the Fentress Fan Favorite Award. Please join us tomorrow for the nominations video and Saturday, of course, for our award ceremony. Um, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. Bye.